Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brugger and today I will build a dock for the ship I built here earlier this year. And I still have some of my scrap foam left over. This is actually almost the last pieces I have here. And the idea is that I will make a one big block, which is six by 15 inches. And then I will put a three by 15 inches on top of it. Or maybe I will make it a bit shorter. I haven't decided that yet. So we can have a dock that is approximately this height. So these bridges can go to the ship. Let's get started. As I mentioned in the intro, I will cut the big block in the size of 6x15. And then I will use the leftovers to cut two pieces that are 3x6 inches. I will also need a piece that is 3x1. At the bottom of the dock, I will use a thin sheet of army paint of foam, which is 3 by 15 inches as well. The leftovers will be cut into pieces that are 3 by 1 inch, and they will be used for stairs. And that is just cutting out the grid for the whole setup. I still have some leftover pieces of foam, so I think I will make it a bit more interesting by making two stairs at the bottom. And now for the rest of the grid. The big 3x15 piece of foam was too big to go into my proxon, so I had to cut that up manually. I use a dull pencil to highlight all the markings for the grid. And now for some carving. I used an X-Acto knife to mark up all the bricks, and then again my pencil to highlight all the riffs. I was not satisfied with the gap in the middle of the two stairs at the bottom, so I decided to make a new tile that was 3 by 3 inches. I used my good and well-known rock to make some texture in the tiles, and also the bricks. I used my hot glue gun to put everything together. There was a crack in the foam, which I tried to carve out so it would look more natural like a damage to some of the tiles and bricks. The last few projects I made have taken up a lot of my Mod Podge mix, so I had to mix up a new batch, which is 50-50 on black paint and Mod Podge. Sometimes I add a couple of drops of water, but this time I don't think it's very necessary. The stir is complete, and now we can just paint it on all over the model. The Mod Podge mix will function as a primer and a sealant, so the foam won't suck in all the paint I'm going to use afterwards. And as always, I use this Panzer Grey from Vallejo. I really like the color of it. It's not totally black, it has a green tint to it. And I'll use my airbrush to put it on. I also had some leftovers of this balsa wood, and I will cut out six posts that will be mounted on the side of the dock. I use a steel wire brush to roughen it up so the grains will be more visible. These sticks are just standing. I will glue them in when everything is painted. And now for some paint. I use this cavern base and I will just dry brush it on just to give some brown dirt effect. And then I will do the same thing with this dungeon base. And for the final highlights, I wanted to try something new. So I used this matte gray, which is actually an airbrush primer, but it has a slight yellow tint to it. And I really like the color, so why not try it out? And for the pillars in the front, I'll just use some dark wood speed paint with my airbrush. And then I just glued it in with some PVA glue. And at this point, I actually thought that I was done. I thought maybe something is missing. So I decided I wanted to build a crane for the docks, and I was inspired by this medieval crane. I went into Inkscape and made my design ready. I wanted to laser cut some parts, but I also wanted to build something by hand. And coffee stir sticks to the rescue, my laser cut parts, and I still have some walnut sticks. They are 5x5mm, and I also have some 3x5mm. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's start with the treadmill. I will cut up some pieces of coffee stir sticks in one inch length. I'll use super glue to glue in all the steps for the treadmill and some activator to speed up the process. 
Most of this crane build is actually done by the eye. I don't put a lot of measurements into the stuff, I just see where things fit best and just glue it in. The wooden dowels I had laying around was a bit too big for the holes I cut out in the treadmill part. But I want this to spin, so I just had to drill out the holes. And of course, more cutting and gluing. Not only the treadmill has to spin, but I also want the whole crane to turn around by itself. So I have this wooden dowel in the bottom of the base for the crane. And again, I just build things as I go. I measure by the eye and see where things fit the best. And here's the boom, but I want a chain to go through it, so I have to cut it in two pieces and glue it back together with some coffee stir sticks on each side so the chain can run through it. I got one meter of this really cheap copper chain. I think I paid about $3 for a meter. That's about roughly three feet. And I'll just pass it through the hole in the top and put it on the wheel with some super glue. And I will use the dark wood speed paint all over the piece and then it is just that. I don't want to put too much effort into it because I think this by itself will look pretty cool. And to mount it on the dock I have this base plate and some wooden 5x5mm walnut sticks. I'll just glue them in and drill a hole, touch it up with some paint and that should be pretty much it. I'll also need some kind of lifting device like a pallet to put all the goods on a ship. And I just used some coffee stir sticks, super glue, and I had some other kind of chain that I had laying around. This is a bit more expensive and very hard to cut. I used a hand drill to make a one millimeter hole in each corner of the pallet. I cut out a piece of soft metal wire to put through the hole so I could put in all the chains. And to make it stay in place, I gave it a drop of super glue and some activator. To connect all the chains, I used a paper clip to make a ring. I also used a paper clip to make a hook for the main chain so we can attach the pallet to it. I also gave it some paint to give it a rusty look. And we are done. I'm very happy about how this project turned out. It started out to be something very simple and then I ended up building a crane. I didn't go into this project by thinking about building a crane, it was only the docks, but when I saw this crane on a picture, I really thought that, well, I have to build this. And I think I spent about three hours to build this crane, so it wasn't that hard to build. I'm really looking forward to use this uh, setup in a gameplay because it really gives me a lot of opportunities to make some different scenarios. Maybe our heroes down here have to make a diversion to sneak on board, to steal some papers, or maybe an artifact from the captain. I think this duck will come in handy in future setups. This was it for now. Thank you for watching it to the end, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.